Welcome back to Two Cent Chicks. I'm Rachel. And I'm Kathy. Today we have a special surprise. Several of you guys requested this many yes. moons ago. Yes. Um, it was kind of weird because I had seen them at Bad Bath & Beyond and someone requested it and I went, when well, you went back, and there was no more to be found. Yeah, there were no more. So they were gone. I'm not sure what happened. but I think there was a run on them. But Rachel, I was at Best Buy this past weekend and I saw it and I immediately texted Kathy and said, do we need this? And it was a big yes, exclamation point. Yes. So it's the Bacon Express by Nostalgia. And it's basically um, a bacon toaster. Yeah. And you can make six strips of bacon and it promises to be a healthier way to cook bacon to crispy perfection. And we all know everything is better <laughs> with bacon. So, so there is a lot of item products out there to cook bacon. Oh my gosh. It's kind of ridiculous. Most of them are microwave. Yeah. Some of them are oven. What is your favorite way to cook bacon? I cook it in the oven. And I cook it in the oven. It's like less mess. It just it's cooks perfect. evenly. It's fine. It's yeah, it's it's perfect. Like I have so um, I, I don't really understand. I, I don't either. But um it's... I know my mother cooks it on the stovetop. Uh see, um, my mother did too. And, um, and our it, cabinets were always so always nasty. greasy. Um but you know, I I like to do it because I can throw it in the oven, I can go right. get ready, I can take a shower, I can make something else. Sometimes right. I make waffles when I'm doing it. Um, so here's how it's packaged. It's pretty. It's what did you say? It's take? heavy. I, I was. I thought it'd feel more like a toaster, okay. but it's heavier. Oh, so it's heavier okay. than a toaster. Pull the bottom off. And I dropped and it right out of the gate. Oopsies. Well, it's heavy. Look, I mean, but it's a pretty appliance. Yeah, it's it's nice. nice. It even looks a little old school. It does. It does. Um, it's got a little bacon, a, a, dra drawer. a drawer to catch it. Catch all the um, grease. Here's the thing to cook it on. Gosh, you gotta clean this thing. That's what I was thinking. It'd be hard to clean. When I saw it, I'm like, that looks like a big mess to clean. But I guess, do all these parts come out? Insert this in first to install. Unsnap and remove this in first for cleaning. Oh, there we go. So maybe that's not Gosh, so I bad. hope it's dishwasher safe because gosh, you know Rachel doesn't do dishes. I don't do dishes if I can help it. It's kind of easy. Yeah, see, you can put it back in. That's no problem. Just follow the printed think... directions. Six strips, and I'm sorry. That does I mean, not a lot. No, it came with a nice little instruction booklet. In every language. <laughs> yeah. One. Well, plug the cord into the outlet. Preheat the unit by turning the cooking dial to preheat. Press the power button. To begin the preheat cycle, the power button will eliminate blue when it's while it's preheating. When done preheating, it doesn't say, it does not give times. When done preheating, the cooking dial will beep 10 times and the power button will extinguish. <laughs> It'll beep 10, 10 times, times, really? Jeez. Is that necessary? Carefully pull open the doors, use the cold touch handles, doors will be hot, and your fingers and hands do not touch the doors. These are the doors, holy cow. Use the cool touch handles to close the doors. So is it on? When this cooking sidle has, no, I gotta turn it on. Turn it to preheat and push the button and it's gonna glow blue. blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you and can we set wait. it for different thicknesses and crispiness, I guess. Yes. All right, so it beeped 10 times and now I'm gonna, this is kind of, and we'll put it in between thin and thick on the dial. Hot. No warning, it stinks. Yeah, the first time it stinks. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I will use it because I think it's all going to be thin. Mm. It's all there. Okay. I mean, this is like super thin bacon yeah, here. I got. It'll be bacon crisp. Yeah, but... so like first bacon. one. It does. Okay. I think I can squeeze one more on there. I mean, this bacon is not very well. It should cook pretty fast, I would think. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's put these up. About how long did it take to heat up? Like three minutes. It wasn't very long at all. Okay, we can hear it sizzling. Yes. And one thing that I forgot to mention, you when you turn the dial to se select your uh, style of bacon, you need to push the blue button in. Very important. Sure that it's on, because it's otherwise it's off. Yeah. So you can hear it sizzling. See, See the steam. It smells really good. I wish it gave a range of time that it's yeah. going to take. I'm using a metal fork and it says do not use metal <laughs> utensils. Okay. The well, last like one to three burning. minutes of, of 
cooking. So, I mean, what a pain in the butt that is. I mean, at this point, I might as well put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. I love to find it even. It's, how crispy did you put it? I put it between crispy and crispier for thick bacon. Hot, not crispy. I mean, it's definitely not greasy. All the grease is yeah. dripped. But it's not cooked evenly. Mm -mm. Maybe at, because at it's all. like touching the plate. It said if it's too long, you need to trim the bacon. Okay, so we flipped them. And it's been, what, seven, eight minutes? Yeah, we'll try some more. There we go. All right, there's the beep. Okay, so it's beeping. They're definitely doneer than the others. Yeah, not fully. It's not cooked, cooked even at all. Okay, well, we'll try it again with some more pieces. As you can see, this is how. Yeah. Uneven. So like we're going to. on the top and not the side. So we got smaller. She cut it down. So that fits perfectly. All nice touching. and flat. It's all touching. Let's close it. So we heard the beep and we let it stay a few minutes more. Well, I didn't think there was supposed to be shrinkage, but it looks like it shrunk. Some. Yeah. Well, well, you cut it. Yeah, I know, but still, it just said it wasn't, it okay. still looks smaller than it was. Yeah, I mean, even though it's still, you know. Still uneven. Yeah, should we turn it up and let it go a little bit more? I guess. Okay. So we turned it up, turned it back on. It's starting to smell a little burnt to me. Yeah, a little burnt. It's definitely cooking more. I've got it cranked all the way okay. to I the right. I think it's time to take it off. Yeah. Now this cooked better. I think we should cook one more and crank it all the way to crispy. What we should have done was put some in the oven <laughs> and to pair the time. And we, we could be eating that right now. Okay, so we're gonna make some more, but first we're gonna check the grease catcher. Yeah. It looks like a lot of water. I too. know, a lot it's of like steam. Yeah. So we're gonna try this again. Yeah. Crank it all the way to crispy. Get this going. Okay, so the beeper has not gone off. We've got it all the way over at the crispy setting. It's been but like 10 minutes. It's been like 10 minutes. It's like burning. Burning. Because it's it's actually, I have it on the thick bacon setting just because we wanted to see. But then you would think it would. Yeah. No, this is done. Off. This is. Okay. By the amount of time that it took us to do this little pile of bacon, and mind you, Trying to shoot a video with bacon and keep yourself off the bacon right. plate is impossible. <laughs> I could have already made a huge tray right. of about... Over a pound of bacon yeah. and be done. And be done in 20, 25 minutes. Like that. Okay. So that's the first batch we did. And I had it set between crispy and crispiest. The second batch got a little better, but it's still... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the second batch I think was the best, but we cooked it twice and we flipped it. So we let it run its cycle. Then we flipped it and we kind of watched it and let it go. And it was definitely the best. I mean, I've been wanting to tear into this. But I don't see, unless you don't have an oven, but no. to me, why would you spend, this was $34.99, which seems a little high. No. Why would you invest in this when you could invest in a toaster oven and do more with it? Mm-hmm. Because you're limited. This does one, I don't know what else you would use this for. Right. No, I mean, I'm, great in theory. I mean, it's, yeah, it's cute. cute. I've cute. had some other nostalgia products. I mean, my um, I have a cotton candy machine for my kids, and it, it actually it works really really well. Um, but this, the practicality of it, I guess because we've we've figured out over the years how to make our bacon in mass quantities. You know, yes, and plus six pieces. I mean, that's enough for me by myself. And we have not even cleaned this yet, and we are not looking forward to no, that. No, no. So I wanted to show that on camera, but really. Don't waste your money. This is mm -mm. this is like bad. Bacon good. Bacon good. Bacon express well, bad. Part of bacon good. This is like yeah. half of a trawl. That yeah. was probably our fault for not cutting it down, but still, it's no, no. So hopefully, <laughs> no one purchased it that had asked for it because that's right. We were disappointed. And you know, if you love it, tell us. Yeah. And if you have other uses for it, let us know because you yeah. know. I don't know if Rachel's gonna be able to clean this enough to get it to return it. <laughs> Even think of giving it to somebody. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if someone asked me at the garage sale when it was sitting <laughs> on the table, yeah, it works great because it does do what it says. But the practicality of it, um, it's just not. 
Anywho. So sorry. Thumbs down. That's right. If you've had a different experience, you love yours, you know of another way to use it, please comment below. You know, educate us. It's not just one-sided, you know. We right. could be wrong. Right. Doubtful, okay. but we could be wrong. <laughs> Alright, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and have a great day.